Welcome to the ultimate tier list for Journey Renewed. In this video, we're diving into the best and not so best character cards in the game, helping you build the perfect team of elites. Whether you're a seasoned strategist or just starting out, choosing the right characters is key to making it through the tough realms and into the late game. We'll break down which cards shine the brightest and which ones might need to be swapped out of your deck. It's all about creating a balanced team that covers every role, from tanking hits to dealing insane damage and everything in between. Remember, Journey Renewed isn't just about picking your favorites, it's about using your companion's unique abilities in harmony to survive the challenges ahead. The game gives you so many card types and attributes to play around with, so building a team that plays to your strengths while covering your weaknesses is crucial. Stick with us as we go through each tier and help you make sure your deck is ready for whatever the realms throw at you. I'm quickly moving on to the video and I'm ranking characters in Journey Renewed. Before we start, if you enjoy these types of tier list videos, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Enjoy watching. My friends, only 0.1% of viewers subscribe. If you like this type of content, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you in advance for your support. The characters in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Lady Whitebone, Goat Immortal, and Gal Quilan. Alright, let's talk about the characters in Journey Renewed that land in the C tier. Now, don't get me wrong, they're not the worst, but if you're aiming for the top of the leaderboard, these aren't the ones you want to be relying on long term. C tier units can still be useful in certain situations, especially when you don't have any better alternatives. But let's just say they're the backup dancers of your team, not the headliners. If you're just starting out, they might be your best bet, but don't pour too many resources into them unless you're in a pinch. Take Lady Whitebone for example. She's got her moments, she's fine for a while, maybe even useful in a few niche situations. But once you start progressing, you'll notice that she's falling behind the other characters. Same goes for Goat Immortal. I mean, the name sounds cool, but in practice, they're not really pulling their weight. They can be good early on when you're still figuring things out, but as your team develops, you'll quickly see their limitations. Think of them like a decent pair of sneakers you wear in the beginning, but eventually swap out for something more high performance. Then, there's Gao Quilan. They're kind of the perfect example of a C-tier character. Solid for the start of your journey, but once the real battles hit, you'll realize they don't exactly keep up. They might surprise you now and then, but compared to higher tier units, they just don't have the same oomph. It's like playing with a character that's holding you back rather than pushing you forward. At the end of the day, these characters serve their purpose early on, but once you start unlocking better options, you'll likely leave them behind. So here's the deal. If you're stuck with C tier characters, don't sweat it too much. They're not a complete disaster. They have their uses in a pinch, but they're not the ones you're going to want to build your team around for the long haul. As you progress, you'll definitely want to look into upgrading to B tier or A tier units to really bring your game to the next level. Until then, treat these characters like training wheels, useful for now, but you'll be ditching them soon enough. The characters in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Jade Rabbit, Wordless Scriptures, Ink Spirit, Snow White Mouse, Star Lord Maori, Pagoda King, King Goldenhorn, and King Silverhorn. Alright, let's talk about the B tier characters in Journey Renewed. Now these aren't the absolute top dogs, but hey, don't sleep on them. They're solid options for when you're just starting out or need a little bit of filler while you work your way up to those shiny A tier and SSR characters. You know, those heavy hitters that can really change the game for you. Take Jade Rabbit for instance. Not quite the flashy star of the show, but this little guy's got his niche. He's decent in a pinch, especially when you're grinding for those better options. Same goes for wordless scriptures. It's not the most glamorous, but it does its job while you're working toward those higher tier heroes. They're a great placeholder, filling out your roster until you can replace them with someone who'll really pop. Then there's Ink Spirit and Snow White Mouse, two characters who are reliable but not the ones you'll see at the top of any tier list. They're more about getting you through the grind, offering solid support while you save up for the big leagues. Think of them like your trusty backup team. Good to have around, but not necessarily the MVPs of your squad. Characters like Star Lord Mari, Pagoda King, King Goldenhorn, and King Silverhorn are in the same boat. They're good, they're just not great. But don't forget, every character in B tier has their place in certain situations. So if you're just getting started, don't stress it. They'll get you through early stages without much hassle, but don't be surprised when you start swapping them out for something with a bit more star power as you progress. The characters in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Ju Baji, Sha Wu Jing, Sun Wu Kong, Lady Spider, Princess Peacock, Black Bear Spirit, Nine-Headed Bird, Queen of Womanland, and Blazeheart. 
Alright, now that we've covered some of the heavy hitters in the game, let's talk about the next tier down, A tier. These characters might not have the all-star shine of the S tier champs, but don't let that fool you. If you're looking to build a team that still packs a punch, these guys are a solid choice. They're like that reliable teammate who might not be the MVP, but always comes through when the going gets tough. If you don't have access to the top tier picks, you can still count on these heroes to get you through any content. Ju Baji, Sha Wu Jing, and Sun Wukong. They've all got their unique traits that make them stand out. These characters are versatile, and while they may not break the game in the same way as the top tier picks, they absolutely hold their own. With the right build and the proper investment, they'll take down enemies with style. No sweat, they're dependable, and in many ways, that's exactly what you want when you're facing tough challenges in Journey Renewed. Then, we've got the likes of Lady Spider, Princess Peacock, and Black Bear Spirit. These characters might not bring anything groundbreaking to the table, but what they do offer is an excellent balance of strength and utility. They're not here to reinvent the wheel, they're here to make sure the wheel keeps spinning without any hiccups. Whether you're looking for a tank to absorb damage or a DPS character to dish it out, these guys are your go-to. And let's not forget about the Nine-Headed Bird, Queen of Womanland, and Blazeheart. Each of these units has a solid spot in the current meta, and they do a great job of filling out your roster when you're looking to round out your team. They're definitely not the top tier, but they're strong enough to take on most content, and with the right resources, you'll get a lot of value from them. So if you're still grinding for those S tier units, these A tiers are a great alternative, and will definitely help you crush whatever the game throws at you. The characters in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, White Dragon, Jade Vixen, Yama, Six Eared Macaque, Tang Xuanzang, Chang'e, Neja, Lord Erlang, and South Pole Star. Alright, let's dive into the creme de la creme of Journey Renewed, the S tier characters. These aren't just your run of the mill heroes, we're talking about the absolute legends that will make your team unstoppable. These characters have it all. Top tier abilities, game changing synergies, and some extra flair that takes them above and beyond the rest. If you're lucky enough to get them, well, buckle up because you're in for an epic ride. Take White Dragon for example. This powerhouse is the definition of prestige. With its immense damage potential and strategic versatility, it's the kind of card that can clear entire waves with ease. Jade Vixen is no slouch either. She brings that perfect blend of agility and control to your team, giving you the flexibility to tackle any situation. Whether you're fighting through waves of enemies or facing off against the toughest bosses, characters like these make all the difference. Then there's Yama and Six-Eared Macaque, two heavy hitters who bring both offense and defense to the table. Yama's devastating power combined with Six-Eared Macaque's ability to outsmart the enemy makes them a deadly duo you'll want to keep in your lineup. Tang Shanzang and Changi aren't far behind either. They bring a mix of support and damage dealing, giving your team that much needed balance for long lasting success in tough content. But hey, let's not forget about Neja, Lord Erlung, and the South Pole Star. These legends will help carry you through some of the game's toughest challenges. Whether you need raw power or strategic buffs, they've got you covered. If you're on the hunt for the ultimate characters to take your team to the next level, these are the ones you want. Trust me, getting them is absolutely worth the journey. The video ends here, see you in another video, don't forget to subscribe.